Hello there survivors, Jay Steele here, and today we are going to be going out and taming some of these managrammers. Um, I think that's how they're pronounced. I could be very wrong with that. Um, I more than likely am wrong with that. But I have two. Uh, this one was a low level one, and it's been leveled up a little bit since then. It was like level 162 after it tamed. So it's not all that great. Over here though, I got a really nice one. It's got good health and good weight pretty decent food and like amazing stamina it just lacks a little bit of melee damage and this one was tamed out really nice i got really lucky with this one so we are going to be going out to the snow dome to see if we can find a couple of mates here i shouldn't i only need two i'm thinking that's all i need and that'll complete my little arc project here that i've been working on with um getting two of each creature from extinction at least so that we can take those off the map here when we are done. So I will see you guys on the way to the snow dome. So I kind of forgot that apparently at some point I muted my mic and I forgot to turn it back on. So we're just flying over here and when we get into the snow biome I actually find out that the uh, battle music is playing and I wasn't sure why. So well, the battle music from when we fought the Titan. I think it stays persistent until the Titan's either defeated or the server restarts. But since we tamed it, the battle music's going to stay on until we do a server reboot, which should hopefully be relatively soon here. But So I temporary solution, I just turned the music down. But let's go ahead and jump into actually finding and taming a high-level Managrammer. All right, we got a 145 male here that I spotted. I've already cryopotted my wyvern up and I got the snow all out because the way I like to tame these guys is using a stone dinosaur gate and a snow owl. So when they're targeting you, uh, you freeze them real quick in the snow owl and you just place a gate behind them and in front of them. I've kind of done something similar with Quetzals. It works a lot better with these guys, I promise. Um, but the bad part about taming these guys is they're aggro onto almost everything and they get themselves killed really easily so you got to be able to take care of the things that are around it that it's attacking now this first one when i actually get it here which will be in a minute or two it somehow gets out and i'm not entirely sure i don't think i had the gates placed around it just right but um probably don't want to sit here and watch me fiddle around with this i'll probably just kind of start to jump to the i'll jump to the next part where i actually start to tame it because it, it did get out the first time there's I, I don't think it's a good example to really show but it's it is what it is but it starts to get dark too in the second part or not the second part but when i actually get him trapped a second time so we're gonna skip that hopefully you guys can still see everything that's going on this might just actually be good i'll probably just save it for a demonstration here so all i do is try and place it as far back until it gets blocked and then i come up and place it as close to it as i can which i had a bit of a hard time there um and he he jumped out because i didn't place it quick enough but thankfully with the homestead update we can still pick our structures up within 30 seconds or so so yeah let me try and um get another one placed here and I'll, probably, I'll just skip it after he jumps out of it, so you guys don't have to watch me go around and try and trap him again. But this is the general concept here that, that you're shooting for. Now, if you really wanted to make it more secure, you could probably put some pillars and a ceiling around it. Um, for me, it's not, it's not terribly hard to actually trap it like this. So, to me, it's not that big a deal. But yeah, he does jump out of here, so I'm just going to go ahead now and there's where he jumped out so i'm gonna skip to when i actually get him trapped so we can start taming him all right so it's gotten quite a bit darker here um but i do finally get this guy trapped here and it's relatively simple you just place the gates around him while you're freezing you want a snow that has a high amount of stamina so you can hold him longer uh keep him frozen for longer but easy concept going now uh little fun fact the manogrammers here you're actually going to want to bring your kibble with you because every time they jump like this it lowers their food so you right after you knock it out you can essentially just tame it right away which is nice and i get jumped by another one here that's just a little level 20 so i'm gonna end up killing that one and then i will take some trank arrows and knock them out which they don't they're not too bad the hardest part honestly of taming these guys 
is getting them trapped and knocked out and tamed before they kill themselves because of everything that they go try and attack. So that's that, that's honestly the most difficult part. And for me, it was finding high level ones. They don't spawn too often for me, so it's it's kind of a pain in the butt to find them. But it, it is possible. You just gotta look and go around and kill a bunch of other things in the process. And especially the low level ones, because this one's giving me a heck of a time. But I finally got them there, because they, they jump away and it's hard to get them. So, I was looking, I think watching his food, because it had to get down to a certain point. And you can't see that with a normal binocular, normal spyglass or anything like that. So, just, if you just let him jump around for a minute in the trap, you could probably be pretty sure, arrested assured that his food will be down enough that you can just pretty much put the kibble in it and instantly tame it. So, I'm going to go ahead and probably jump off the snow all here and get it shot up and tranquilized here. So, everybody knows how this process, go yeah, process goes. Excuse me for that. Just shoot it a whole bunch with trank arrows and I like to, with our spyglass we have, just keep an eye on its health and torpor here at the end. Just to make sure I'm not hurting too bad. Because you can heal him back up with the snow owl and that helps things out a lot. So, he's about ready to pass out here and then I will put the kibble on him shortly and we can pretty much just watch as he gets tamed right in front of us. But jumping uh, away from this one, there was actually one right after this one that was a 150. I'm not going to include footage of it because it actually died before I got to even tame it. So, um, a little upsetting, but it is what it is. But this guy here is just about tame, so we're probably going to uh, go ahead here, jump on to the next one. Going to get my wyvern out, though, so that we can go fly around and find a new one. But hopefully we can find another high-level one here pretty soon. So, let's go, go get it. So after flying down here through the valley, it looks like I just found another 140. And after the loss from that 150, I'll I'll take this. That's um yeah, that's that's pretty good. So now I gotta hopefully tame it before it dies. Thankfully it's fighting a snow, which isn't too bad. The bad part is this valley where they're common is actually kinda hard to tame them. And there's another one that's level sixty. Alright, yep, I'm going to jump up here and try and get my snow all out, and I'll bring you guys back when I have that one trapped. Okay, guys, I kid you not, I was fighting some mammoths off that this thing was fighting, and it pounced down, and it just disappeared again. The They're so freaking glitchy, this isn't even funny anymore. So, I guess I'm going to spend a couple more hours looking for some new ones, or I might just call it, I don't know. I'll fry around a little bit more, and we'll see. All right, I got a 145 now. Um, thankfully, this one wasn't a terribly long wait. He was, uh, I flew around a couple of times clearing everything out, and he ended up being just right over there on the top of that uh, peninsula. So I got super lucky. Hopefully, this one doesn't glitch out. I can bring you guys back here um, once we're back at home, and I'll get them all lined up, and we can compare them all together. So... I'll see you guys back at base then while I get this guy all taken care of. Alright guys, before we get to the outro here, I want to show you why we have to use the stone gates. Dinosaur gates. So here I have um, a metal, a wood, I have another wood, and the stone one behind it. Um, so let's go up and try and use the metal one. Oh, would you look at that? We walk right through it. Oh boy, okay, well... Nobody wants to use metal anyway. It's too expensive to make a trap. How about wood? It's cheap. And it walks right through the wood ones as well. So now all that's left is the stone. And it's trapped on the stone. It can't walk through the stone gates. So here, let me just jump around to the other side. Just to show you, it, it just can't go through the stone gates. I, why it can go through the other ones, I'm not sure. And just... I'll even take this down here just to show you guys that it's it's just this gate. No, not this gate. It's stone. It just can't go through the stone ones. So, you can't cheap out and use wood. I tried that once and it cost me a lot of frustration. And for some reason, metal ones don't hold them in either. So, yeah. But just wanted to throw that in here before we got to the end of the video. So, just to let you guys know why we have to use the stone gates.
Alright guys, and here are our three mana, mana ma garmer. I know it's not right, but anyway, here's our, our three um, cat creatures. Um, the one here, the male, actually doesn't really have anything super great for breeding, except for his oxygen, which is just normally my luck. Um, the other female, the green one that we had, I think it was during Easter, has a really good stamina, good food, and good weight. And this other female, the last one we just tamed, has amazing melee damage and decent stamina and everything else is about the same there. So um, I wouldn't use the male if I didn't need him to get the stats out of the other two just because it's all it's got is oxygen, which it, to me isn't all that important. But I do believe these guys actually swim really well. So um, maybe I'm, I'm going to be taking them to the other map or another map to to actually be bringing them into a better line but yeah with this here i do believe i'm all done taming creatures here on extinction so there's a big check on our to-do list before we're done with this map so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll catch you all in the next one